gone, and you're basically losing it at the same rate regardless of how fast you run. Now, when humans run, we also generate a fair amount of heat inside our bodies. In fact, we produce a roughly constant amount of heat per kilometer of travel. So the faster you go, the more heat you generate in any given minute. Because the heat generated by running has a steady increase while your protective layer of warm air goes away quickly at low speeds, it turns out that there's a kind of forbidden range of speeds where it's not worth walking or even running slowly since you lose less heat staying still. So once the minimum speed where the heat you generate running finally balances out the additional heat you lose to the air movement, well, using some estimations for the surface area and energy generation of an adult human running naked and the effects of wind on heat loss, I found that when it's freezing outside, you need to be able to run roughly a five minute mile to be better off moving than staying put faster if it's colder out. And this wouldn't even mean you're not losing heat. It's just the point at which you lose less heat running than you do staying still. Now, if five minute miles sounds like a challenge, don't worry. All you need to do is put on some clothing, like enough that you're only losing half as much heat as a naked person, and a 15 minute mile, basically a brisk walk, will do just fine. So, either stay put, or wear appropriate winter clothing, or run naked, very for front winter clothing, appropriate with foot. Stay put, or wear appropriate winter clothing, or run naked, very, very fast through the snow.